Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Numbric from Taiwan Ben. What is Numbric? Uh, basically, it is a five by five by five uh, speed cube, Rube's cube, uh, if you've ever seen the speed cubes. And uh, you're able to hand this out. And then each one of the colored squares, as you can see, has a little number on it. You can tell the spectator to select any number they want. You're able to take the cube back and then through just a series of questions, you're able to tell the spectator exactly what number they selected. You wanna see what the routine looks like? This is it. All right, so that was Taiwan Ben. Uh, this trick, Numbric, it's uh, self-released, self-published. So this is coming to you from Taiwan Ben. And you might remember, I've done a couple of other Taiwan Ben uh, trick reviews in the past. Uh, this one so far, this one's my favorite. This is my favorite uh, Taiwan Ben trick that I have reviewed. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? Uh, you're getting a beautiful plastic shelled uh, peg case that is holding a five by five by five speed cube. Uh, and inside that, you're gonna get the download code and you're gonna get a few little gimmicks that'll help you uh, with the routining. Is it what I thought? You know, at first, I really didn't know what to think. Didn't know what to think. Uh, saw the review and just was, wow, if, if, the, if the trick lives up to the hype, I, I don't know what to think. And it's one of those things where they fool you with something that's so old it's new again. So it was a pleasant surprise. How are the angles? There are no angles. Can it be inspected? Absolutely. In fact, you have to take this cube and hand it to the spectator to begin with. And really, there's nothing else to find. So it's a beautiful, self-contained effect. What's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Uh, you got a moving camera and microphone. You got multiple angles. You got background music, um, lots of different shots. Uh, you're getting the shots where he's doing the trick for the spectator. Uh, he talks to the camera. Uh, there's an over-the-shoulder table shot. There's a chest level high shot. Um, there's over-the-shoulder shots while he's, you know, doing writing and you can watch what he's doing. Uh, it's, the camera's constantly moving. It's HD. Uh, it, it's beautiful. Um, you can sit down and just watch this DVD like you would a movie. Okay, it's, it's beautifully shot. It's got great music. Um, he does have an accent, of course, and it is a thick accent, but it wasn't an issue for me, okay? So it wasn't an issue. Is it well made? Is the 5x5 five five speed cube well made? Absolutely. And if you, don't, if you don't already know, speed cubes are coming back. Like, it's just a thing now. Uh, the kids, the kids today, <laughs> they're, they're into these things now. You can look them up on Amazon, there's tons of them. So this is a 5x5x5, five by five by five, okay? And it is, it's high quality. I mean, I sat there and went, you know, did my little, my little thing with it that I know how to do. I know how to make, you know, the checkerboard. That's all I know how to do. But, or that's all I remember how to do. But I did that and uh, yeah, it moves, it glides, it doesn't lock up. It's a great, great product. How much practice does it require? Uh, the practice that it requires is math. Okay, it's a math trick. And so you learn the secret pretty much in the first five minutes of the DVD. The DVD is 32 minutes long, but you're gonna learn the trick really in five minutes. And you could almost just start doing it right there if you 
were that good. I mean, I am not good with math. Um, but he is teaching you multiple routines on the same principle. So if, if one routine doesn't work for you, he's got another option. You know, if math is, a, is, if math is difficult for you, then he's going to show you, okay, well, here's another option. If memorizing the order, the sequence, whatever, if that's difficult for you, he's got another option. So he's giving you lots of outs. So I think if you like this trick, but you're a little scared, oh, there's math involved, don't be. He's going to walk you through it. He's going to relax you. He's going to make this comfortable for you. And um, it would involve a few more props, you know, like maybe a pen and paper, but uh, it, it's, it's angle proof. You know, he's got it down to where um, he's kind of worked all the kinks out. That said, I did say that um, it was an old school trick and it, it, it is very old school. <laughs> I mean, it's so old school, you've probably forgotten about it. Um, my kid, a couple years back, he got the Chris Angel magic set for Christmas, and this trick is in that. That's all I'm saying. Okay, how much setup and reset is there? Um, it depends. Like, if you are good with the speed cube, like if you can figure it out, it, it depends. I mean, you could do the trick without messing the cube up and just do it that way, or you could mess the cube up hand it out, bring it back, reset it, show them the cube, and then mess it up again. So it's up to you. Uh, it's up to your comfort level. Like, I can mess it up, quote unquote, you know? I can mess it up to a logical sequence that I can undo. And if you can just learn how to do that, I think the setup is, it's instantaneous. There really is no setup or reset. All right, so what are the positives? Positives are you are able to take this classic of magic into the 21st century. You know, it's a trick that a lot of us have forgotten and just given it a wonderful new facelift with the idea of using a speed cube, you know, something that is actually becoming relevant again. I think anytime you can take um, old school magic and make it relevant again, I think it's wonderful. Anytime you can take something um, and reintroduce it to your audience and magicians, I think is brilliant. And I love the idea of recycling uh, these old tricks. And so I think what Taiwan Ben do has done is, is wonderful, really. Uh, another thing is, on the DVD itself, there's a PDF, and he walks you through, if you have to, <laughs> how to take it apart <laughs> so that you can put it back together. Like, if you get it and you're like, oh, I can't solve it, don't worry. He'll show you how to take it apart so that you can put it back together again. In Numbrick, Taiwan Ben has made a wonderful piece of magic that'll be instantly familiar to a lot of veteran magicians, but also surprisingly new to a lot of younger magicians. And I think uh, taking this piece of magic and bringing it forward to the 21st century is wonderful. And the DVD is awesome. Uh, he's giving you so much. This is a great high quality trick. All right, so the, what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These don't have to be the negatives that you have found. They're just the negatives that I see, okay? So the negatives for Numbrick is math. I don't like math. And that's all I got, math, okay? Just adding. I get, I get nervous and flustered. You know, when I have to do math in my head, on the fly, in front of people, I just get flustered. Even if I'm, even if I'm writing it down, it doesn't matter, okay? I, I, I'll just second guess myself and I won't be confident because I am not good at math. There, I said it. I'm not good at math. All right, so is it worth your money? It's 50 bucks. $50, so that might be like, oh, you think, oh, that's a lot of money. It is a lot of money, but you're getting this wonderful DVD. You know, you're getting 32 minutes of information. You're getting at least four or five routines where he's helping you and saying, look, if this one's not your speed, then try this one. Uh, and the speed cube itself, like I said, it's, it's beyond description. It is a beautiful, high quality piece of magic. And put this in your magic box and take it with you. Uh, I think it's, you're definitely getting something that's worth your money. I mean, and the speed cube is large enough that, you know, in a parlor setting, they could see it. So I think there's so many different opportunities for this. Even if you were a high school or a college age person, you throw this in your backpack, nobody's gonna think, you know, why do you have a speed cube in your backpack? It's a, it's a thing that people carry now. And so I think it's totally worth your money. Who would like this? Anybody that has parlor, anybody that has stage, anybody that has corporate magic, walk around. Like I said, the list goes on and on and on. There's so many different opportunities for this. Uh, it is mentalism, okay? I will give you that. It is mentalism. So know your character. Know your character. If you're a card magician and you do cards, 
it might not make any sense if you whip out a speed cube and say, I can do mentalism. Uh, so just know your character and just ask, is, is this product right for you? But I love it. Uh, okay, so that is Numbrick from Taiwan Ben, and I want to thank Murphy's Magic for providing this for me so that I could review it for you. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. Thanks. Bye.